welcome to TNA online this is chetna belgere pandemic has proved that research in any field is extremely important many of us do not know that covid-19 also affected dental health of thousands of people at the time when we are still trying to bridge the gap of dental care access karnataka government has inaugurated an exemplary laser research lab one of its kind in south india instituted by rajiv gandhi university of health sciences Dr Kiran Kumar N professor and head of the department of conservative dentistry and endodontics government dental college where the lab was inaugurated by the health minister dr k sudhakar is with us today to talk more about this lab and also on the importance of dental care during and post covid so we welcome you sir thank you ma'am thank you for this opportunity thank you so much so sir so today uh, we understand that you know the setting up of this lab was your brain child so um can i know more on what do we mean by laser research lab ma'am there are uh, the laser is actually in dentistry laser is quite a young science probably 20 or 22 years old and especially the heart tissue lasers there are two types of lasers and there are two types of tissues also in the oral cavity it is soft tissues and the heart tissues mm -hmm. so we used to have soft tissue lasers but in government setup especially in south of india this is the first time we are having a heart tissue laser and my thanks goes to rajiv gandhi university of health sciences and our uh, health and family welfare minister dr sudhakar sir so if we are understanding you know what are some of the benefits of this lab and uh, where will we be actually applying this technology like we've heard of you know laser treatment for your eyes is it something similar to that just for a common man um, to understand Ma'am, basically, laser has got a wide variety of application. One laser equipment does so many different types of treatment, starting from a simple drilling of tooth, what you would have experienced in a dentist clinic, the drill and other things that will be replaced by laser, and laser will be ablating the tissue, or it will be preparing the cavity. It can be used for root canal treatment. It can be used for aesthetic uh, surgical procedures. it can be used in uh, minor surgical procedures it's used in periodontics or gum infections and then you have something called as a regenerative endodontics where we try to regenerate the nerves also okay. there are so many research application also with the lasers ma'am so now that this lab has been set up so will it take a while yes, to uh, you know actually put it into practice or is it already there and which will be we will start using it how how does it work Ma'am, we have started. We have already started using it, ma'am. We had a patient also in the morning today, so we have already started using this procedure, ma'am. What are some of the benefits? If you could just, um, you know, in terms of RCT, is something really painful. Like I have myself been through, and I have noted a lot of people come and tell me that that's the most they avoid going to dent, you know, dentist because of that, because of the pain. So, will this benefit? What What is? The, what are the kind of benefits a lay man, I mean, a common man can, public can. actually see with this a uh, mam laser especially uh, helps in you know the 100% success rate the success rate drastically increases when we use this lasers that is because it has got a very high antibacterial property and the microbial property uh, so probably with instead of giving medicines and other things it is a laser which will totally kill the bacteria which are there inside the canal and then you have something called as photobiomodulation or a biomodulation of the whole biology with help of photo laser is nothing but light okay. this modulates the tissue and you can control the pain also ma'am in this area so the even you can use for the pain management and it will reduce the anxiety of the patient also as you told yeah. uh, most of the people get scared about the dental treatment and they say the dental pain and the fear is there in the genes itself correct so yeah. that Yes, that reduces the anxiety of the patient. Lasers would definitely help, ma'am, in that. So this means you don't have to take the injection. Also, uh, there is a you know um, you are giving an anesthesia kind of thing to numb the area, right? So that also is not needed with laser. Ma'am, not in all the procedures. Some procedures do need anesthesia. Some procedures we can avoid anesthesia, ma'am. Especially you would have heard about tongue tie. It's especially seen in the small children, small kids. where the tongue is tied to the floor of the mouth correct if at all the surgically it has to be operated then the fish then the patient has to be admitted in the hospital so many evaluation has to be done and when the patient comes out the bill would be anything between 50000 to 1 lakh rupees with the laser you are done with the procedure in 5 minutes flat 5 minutes 
Oh. Yes, that is the that magic is, of lasers. Yeah, so which also means that even as young as what is the youngest person and what is the oldest person who can use who are about if you have to give a age range, what would be what would it be like for laser? I I think the upper limit is not there as such. Uh, you can use it to any age patient. My friend uh, Chandrasekhar Ayavagal, who is specialized in pediatric endodont uh, pediatrics uh, pediodontics, he has used laser in 21 day old kid 21 mm. day old kid the kid had a, the neonatal teeth so that had to be removed and the, the kid had a problem with the, the feeding also that was the way in 21 days sharp they have used the lasers oh that's fantastic after the lockdown or uh, the moment the lockdown began i think the first services medical health services which were asked to shut shop is dentistry so considering that yes. So um, there has been a lot of gap in oral care, especially dental care. So there, um, how has it been, how has it impacted? How has the dental care impact? COVID impacted the dental care. How, how uh, can I know uh, some of the, you know, if you have had some anecdotes, you work at a government hospital where, you know, first of all, sending pa coming patients coming uh, to the dentist is very difficult, you know, unless they get the pain. So on top of that, COVID has restricted them from coming. So what are some of the things you have noticed now? Well, there are positive effects and negative effects also. To start with negative effects, probably there's a lots of financial loss to the dentists. Uh, they, they, economically, they were hit very badly. Most of the private practitioners were hit very badly. And the fear of the patient, because most of the dental procedures are under aerosol or mm. the aerotor what we use. So this laser has an advantage. It doesn't use any uh, aerosol. Okay. And it, uh, as wherever the laser light falls, it has got an antimicrobial effect. So okay. uh, that area, whatever is used, immediately becomes sterile. So that okay. is one advantage. And then uh, there was a fear among the patients also uh, to go to dentist clinic. This really had a very bad effect on dentists. And the positive note is the dentists all over India probably they increase the way they sterilize the instrument, they increase the uh, patient care, they increase the, uh, you know, the quality of quality of dental treatment drastically went up as far as sterilization protocol were concerned. Uh, what would be the cost of laser in a government setup? Ma'am, we have kept as minimal as possible just, just, to, just to manage the, um, uh, the consumables, with especially the laser tips. So, and uh, since it is a government institution and most of the patients who come are below the poverty line, so we have two rates, ma'am. One, patients who come below the poverty line are subsidized or treated with the subsidized prices. And, uh, and regular patients also, it will be 10% of what it is usually charged in a private setup. Okay. So, so then you can cut down 90% of the cost. Okay. So if we have to give it a number, can I get a number? Okay. And an approximate range, at least. You, you you will not believe any simple laser procedure in a private setup would start anywhere above five thousand to ten thousand rupees okay. starting price. But in government dental college, we start at around five hundred rupees. Ma. Oh, okay, that's that's and also you said yes. five minutes yes. to yes. ten minutes is what we will have to uh, spend, right? Depending. That is for the surgical minor surgical, surgical procedures. Minor surgical yes. procedures, yeah. That is something fantastic. So tell me if 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 this has to be taken to a rural setup or, you know, if this lab needs to be put out in a place, uh, you know, where people can actually access to it uh, from the rural areas. Can it be done easily or is it uh, very, very expensive or, you know, for the government to set it up in multiple places? Uh, that's a very good question, ma'am. Our Honorable Minister has come up with an idea to train the doctors who are there in the rural areas, especially there are dental health officers who are there in the rural area. This dental health officers will be deputed to our institution. Two or three dental health officers will be deputed in our institution where they will be trained for both heart tissue and soft tissue. Okay. They will be sensitized to these things. And uh, since GDC Bangalore is a tertiary center and they are usually in the primary health care centers, they can refer the patient to GDC Bangalore, ma'am, if at all heart issue is needed. Okay. Soft issue probably uh, in coming years, I think the government would definitely introduce soft issue laser in almost all the primary health centers and the hospitals. Ma so this will also, this lab will benefit the students also, isn't it? I mean, the dental students also to do more. Definitely, De definitely, ma'am. Yes, as I told, it's an end science. 
So there's lots of research opportunity. There's lots of research opportunity. And it has been uh, instituted by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. Uh, the former Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sachidanand sir, uh, started this uh, project, basically. Mm -hmm. And present Vice Chancellor Ramesh sir completed it. So basically, uh, what happens is this lab can be used by almost all the affiliated dental colleges of Karnataka. There are around 40 affiliated dental colleges. The students from all these colleges can utilize this facility. That is the best thing. So you get lots of research work happening with this center now. So um, by the end of it, I think Dr. Kiran wants to show us how the laser um, unit looks like. So he's going to take us through that. This is the new inaugurated postgraduate clinic in uh, Government Dental College, ma'am. Okay. And this is the laser center what we have. This is a postgraduate center. Mm -hmm. And this is the laser center now. Okay. Yes. And uh, we had uh, Dr. Sudhakar, Dr. Dibendu Majumdar, uh, Honorable President of Dental Council of India, and mm -hmm. former Vice Chancellor Dr. Sachidanand sir also. Mm -hmm. And the Sahana Dean and Director, GDCRI, was also present during this inauguration. Okay. Okay. And the laser research center now. We here we the, discuss the treatment plan, and this is the equipment now. This is from Light Touch. Okay. Heart tissue laser equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay, this sounds pretty compatible and portable also. Very right? compatible, and uh, this is a tip which is basically used to the uh, prepare light. the tooth and all yes okay yes okay. so is it safe i mean is it uh, that is one question because anybody because it's technology in is involved Correct. so people Correct. Uh, you know being still though they have moved to technology a lot but there is still these doubts yes, so what about that yes. how do we answer that so the, yeah mama uh, the we we have all the protection uh, uh, sops in line we have a standard operating protocols so, mm -hmm. uh, we take all the case, so that especially the eyes are not damaged and the surrounding tissues because light penetration, the depth of light penetration depends on different lasers. Okay. So, basically, we take all the care and we have trained personals who operate in the laser smart. What about the recovery phase once it is done? Is it the same as how it would be for a normal, uh, you know, surgery or anything or will it be much faster? I mean, it is be much faster. The basic reason for this being much faster is uh, once we do any procedure, we also follow it up with photobiomodulation. This photobiomodulation, what it does, it, it goes in a cellular level. Man. I think uh, anybody who has studied in uh, studied science in uh, the 10th standard, of course, yes, or if you see, they will know that this laser directly acts on the mitochondria of the cell releasing ATPs, basically. Mm -hmm. So this results in a you know, very fast uh, healing in this tissue. That is a wonderful advantage with the laser. Thank you very much, Dr. Kiran. It was wonderful having you with us on the show. And I think, you know, I hope more and more people do come and um, get the treatment done there so that it really benefits and also faster recovery and mainly less painful or probably no pain at all. So I think it that would probably be of the catch here. Thank you very much, Dr. Kiran. It was wonderful talking to you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to depict what is there in the government dental colleges. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much, ma'am. That Thank is you. all we have for today. Thank you for watching.